It's now with more as the executive producer of Winning Time, Jason Schumann. Welcome. Thank you. We nice both are watching you. every week. Big we fans. love yes. Winning Time. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Everybody should watch it. Yep. For people that aren't watching it every week, sort of what's the, the basis of it? Season one uh, sort of started right when Dr. Buss bought the team mm -hmm. at the beginning of the 80s, drafted Magic with the first pick, and season one took you through that rookie season and ended with them winning the championship in spite of Kareem's injury and all the backroom drama and what it takes to put a championship team together. Now season two picks up where that left off. Now there's all this pressure. Now there's the egos. Now there's, you know, everything that comes with that. And we see as the season's now unfolding that they did not win the champion. They did not go back to back mm -hmm. in 1981. Right. That went to the Celtics. Right. And uh, and the drama is only going to continue on this and, season. And season two seems to show just a different side of magic because when we think of Magic Johnson, we think of that smile, his magic smile. And it wasn't always like that behind the scenes. There's some significant drama that's unfolding in season two. So what really can we expect moving forward? Well, that was always myself, uh, the showrunner Max Bornstein and Jim Hecht and Ronnie Barnes, the writers. That was always our intention, was these Shakespearean arcs that really did exist. That magic behind the smile had a lot of complexity. His social life, his professional life, his ambitions, his desire to be the best. And along with that, you had a lot of what we think was like, you know, succession just behind the scenes of a basketball team. It was a lot of courting for power, mm. for who was in control of the team, which we deal with in season two. It's like, who really is in charge of this team? Right, well, Magic or Kareem. Well, right. and, 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 you know, and the coach too, and yeah. what happened with that. Um, and, and this is all based on this book by Jeff Perlman called Showtime, which is so well done. Um, and what happened when you guys first read this book? Uh, Jim Hecht read it first, <laughs> called me. I remember exactly. I was in the car, and I answered my phone, and he said, how do you want to be a part of the greatest television series in the history of TV? And I said, <laughs> what? And he goes, go get Jeff Perlman's book. Yeah. I did. I read it that day. I called them. Let's do this. Remarkably, that was 10 years ago. Yeah. It took a long time to assemble the right team, which included Adam McKay and Kevin Messick, mm -hmm. who have been the leaders and invaluable to the show and HBO. And it's challenging, you know, sort of doing this as a drama, making it good TV by also being honest to what actually happened. Some of the players have criticized that it's not accurate enough. Um, but Jeannie Buss, who is portrayed in it, is the daughter of uh, Dr. Jerry Buss, who is, of course, yeah. the, the lead of the show, mm -hmm. uh, recently talked about it. At first, she didn't really talk about the fact that she watched the show. Now she says she <laughs> is watching the show. Here's what she said. They just started season two, and I think that John C. Riley's done a really good job at capturing Dr. Buss, and um, and I know some people are like, I can't believe you're watching that show, and I said, you know what, I just, I really miss my dad so much, it's, it's kind of nice to see him. How does that make you feel? It, for me and all the filmmakers involved, we were so overjoyed, because we take so much pain to make the show detailed and real mm -hmm. and bring you into this era. This isn't just about basketball. It's not just an L.A. story. It's a story about family. It's a story about an era in sports that changed everything mm -hmm. for the sport people adore now and the Jordan of it all and, my, and LeBron. It all started with Magic and Bird and Bus and Arbach and we worship them and to hear that from Jeannie really warmed our hearts. And you get a sense uh, watching it that basketball is a business and then you know, entertainment is a business as well. Right now we've got the writer's strike, we've got the actor strike, so you don't have actors being able to talk about this on TV. That makes it harder. Right now you guys are on the bubble on whether there's going to be a new season. What's your final pitch on that front, how the strikes are impacting everything? Well, I'm a proud WGA member and I've been out there and I support the writers and my fellow actors and so I hope it gets resolved soon for Hollywood for all of Los Angeles but we the season the, the winning time you know makers we would love to continue the journey the season two ends in 1984 but my goodness there's so there was the repeat of the Lakers mm -hmm. uh, later on there was the coming there was the retirement of Kareem there was the Len Bias incident there was 
Magic the, and the, the his magic HIV and the HIV, Pat Riley yeah. becoming the slick back. There's still <laughs> so <laughs> much more story to be told. So we're ready. We're ready to continue. So watch. You just exude passion. My <laughs> goodness. So for the latest episode, it will debut this coming Sunday, August 27th on Showtime, Winning Time. Please check it out so that we can look forward to a season three. Yeah. Jason Schumann, thank you so much for being here. And HBO, and people can get caught up watching it on the Max app as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank right. you for having me. Thanks so much. We'll Our weather. Right when we come back.